Okay, yeah. hey Victor, how's it going? Um, I wanted to make this little video with you because I think it's really important and let the public know what you've noticed, okay? So yeah. this is something I should have picked up on as well, but if you want to share your screen, just show me what, you, what yeah. you've noticed. So um, on a default Radix HD flight controller, uh, when you're flashing the firmware uh, Brain FPV is giving you, uh, from default, this display setting is on. And what this display setting is causing is uh, a lot of delay in the startup uh, or the reboot of the flight controller. Okay, let me, let me just express that really quickly before you go to the next thing. So yeah. you might have noticed that when you get your Radix 2 HD set up, sometimes you would plug it in, the USB, and it would just sit. It wouldn't connect to Betaflight. If you waited long enough, it eventually would connect. And so what you're saying is this little function called OLED dis screen display, if yeah. you're not using OLED goggles, I guess, yeah. then basically having that on will generate this delay. Yes. Okay, so that's the main thing. Now, the second thing you mentioned, which is really interesting, so go ahead and yeah. talk a little bit about that. Because I have a little theory that uh, since the HD flight controller doesn't come with uh, the uh, analog OSD chip at all, uh, when you have this setting on, uh, for some reason you get a bunch of I2C error. It just keeps on getting higher and higher and higher from the second you plug in the battery. And uh, eventually the, qu the quad basically freaks out. Okay. And just fall, okay. falls out of the sky. Now, let me reiterate something here. I don't know to what degree this is true. And obviously, Radix is a, they fork Betaflight themselves and do some editing on it. So I'm not sure whether Betaflight developers are aware of this or whether they would care at all. Um, so yeah. I want to put that out there. Disclaimer, I don't know. But if it happens on other rigs, I don't know. But I don't want anybody to get into a panic necessarily. But I wanted yeah. to at least make this little video to let you know a couple of things. Yeah. The, the main thing is you can get rid of that delay, which is not a bad thing as well. And if it reduces those I2C errors, I can't see that being a bad thing either. Yeah. Now, whether that from... actually specifically causes your what looks like a desync behavior or falling out of the yeah. sky is questionable still, right? But of course, so. nonetheless, it's probably a good idea to turn that switch off definitely yeah okay thanks